Hey guys, it's Mark with Music Greatness. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning End of the Road. The introduction and verse sound just like this. Let's break that down in a little bit more depth. We're in the key of E flat major. And we've got seven main chords to look at in this section. Our first chord is going to be a nice and simple E flat major chord. That's E flat in the left hand, B flat, E flat, and G in the right hand. Our next chord is going to be a G7 over C chord. That's a C in the left hand, G, D, and F in the right hand. Our third chord is a C minor chord. That's a C in the left hand, G, C, and E flat in the right hand. Our fourth chord is an A flat major seven chord. That's an A flat in the left hand, G, C, and E flat in the right hand. Our fifth chord is going to be a G minor 7 chord, and it's going to look like this. So G in the left hand, F, B flat, and D in the right hand. Our sixth chord is an F minor 7 chord. That's an F in the left hand, E flat, A flat, and C in the right hand. And our final chord is a little bit more complicated. It's a B flat 11 chord, and it looks just like this. That's a B flat and an F in the left hand, A flat, C, E flat, and G in the right hand. And that's all the chords that we're going to use in this section. Let's start by taking a look at the verse. We're starting with this nice simple chord structure. So let's just first look at those couple of chords. We're in the time signature of 6-8, which means we're going to count 1 and uh, 2 and uh, 1 and uh, 2 and... Uh, in practice, it looks like this. One and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a. So let's break that down. Starting on the E flat chord, one and a two and a. Then we're gonna keep all the same notes except we're shifting this G in the right hand up to an E flat. One and a. Back down to E flat, two and a, one on our G7 over C chord. One and a, two and a, then we're going to shift to C minor. One and a, two and, and then on the A of two, we're going to play just a C on its own. One and a, two and a, one. Shifting down to that A flat major seven chord for two whole beats. One and uh, two and uh, then we're gonna move our hand down to that G minor seven chord. Listen out for the rhythm here. One and uh, two and this time on and uh, of two we're gonna play and a uh, G B flat like this. One and a two and a. 
which brings us to our final chord, our F minor 7, for two whole beats. One and a two and a. And we have one final pattern to play. So our B flat 11, but slightly different from how we showed you it before. This is going to have a B flat and an A flat in the left hand, C, E flat, and G in the right hand. And we're going to play six of these. One and a two and a three. So we're going to play one on every single third of the beat. One and a two and a one. And that brings us back to the beginning of the harmonic pattern again. This time, the left hand is going to stay the exact same, but the right is going to be slightly different. Predominantly, we're going to be dropping the bottom note. That looks like this. So it's our E flat major chord, but without the B flat at the bottom. And this is our G7 over C, but without the G at the bottom. So it's just C in the left hand, D and F in the right hand. One and a two and a three and a four and a... Using the same rhythm as before, we've got our C and E flat in the right hand. One and a two and a with just that C. Keeping the same notes in the right hand, shifting down to the A flat in the left hand. One and a two. Now here's where the rhythm gets a little bit different. So we're going to go one and a two, and on and a, we're going to play C and E flat. It sounds like this. One and a two and a one. We're going to have the same rhythm again in this bar, where we have G in the left hand, B flat, and D in the right hand. One and a two. And then on and a, we're going to play G and B flat, and a one. So that bar sounds like one and a two and a one. We have our F in the left hand, A flat and C in the right hand. One and a two and a. Just playing that chord again. Shifting back up. Same six chords as before. It's B flat and A flat in the left hand and our C minor chord in the right hand. One and a two and a. And this time, we're going to come down to our C minor chord down here, which is the beginning of the pre-chorus, covered in the next tutorial. So C in the left hand, G, C and E flat in the right hand. And that's the entire introduction and verse. Let's hear it one more time at full speed. And that's all there is to the introduction in verse. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see the rest of the song, head over to musicgreatness.com where you can find all our tutorials. I've been Mark, thank you.